Yeah, I think Colin Madrid's actually like the worst possible matchup. Like by a long margin. Just because it's so hard to control them. Even with like a super heavy control kind of deck. They can kill you out of nowhere with, uh, with combo. And their minions are mid-range, so it's not easy to AOE them down. Put this apple on your head. Okay, here it should be one of my two drops. Like one either Doomsayer or Sheep. Doomsayer is a little bit weak to things like death rattles. I might want to play Doomsayer for a tempo. Okay, so I can convince myself the sheep. Because Doomsayer, when it clears the board. You, it's better than a board clear. You get a you get a free turn, or you clear out their death rattles late game, and then you can blizzard the next turn, like blizzard down everything else. <laughs> Forgot to attack. So, like, say you doomsayer and clear out a bunch of eggs and creepers, and you can flame strike next turn. Two barriers, frost, blizzard, and and uh, flame strike. Okay, so I should start playing my cycle minions. Mind if I roll knee? I can save sheep for next turn with the barrier, and then blizzard on turn six. From the I also have pretty high incentive to play Blizzard with Doomsayer. Or, okay, so this Doomsayer is going to be really important. I don't want to play this Doomsayer. I might not even want to play Blizzard. I'm thinking I might just Flame Strike next turn. Get in there and fight, or maybe I should just try top deck Frost Nova. I wonder if he doesn't have a demon. That would have been pretty scary either way. The problem with Flame Strike is if he plays Dr. Boom. I mean, sorry, the problem with Blizzard is if he plays Dr. Boom, then the Flame Strike, anyways. Actually, it's not that bad. Okay, let's do this. Well, if I can just save my coin here. It's likely that it would have been better for me to play the Acolyte this turn. Because I do want to get that board clear um, with Doomsayer. I'm trying to save Blizzard Doomsayer together. The question is do I want to tank with the Doomsayer the boom bots from the Blizzard? It's pretty close. Um, I guess I shouldn't. I, I need to rely on this board clear. Like even something like Doom Guard can kill it if it rolls high enough implosion as well, or it might just die. But oh, that's good for me. Probably means he doesn't have another demon. Like he doesn't have Melganis or Doom uh, Doom Guard. He would have just played this to force out those drops. I can survive for quite a bit now with the tempo I gained from the uh, Frost and Doomsayer turn together. But it's not as simple as just winning here. Like, since my deck is more defensive, there's payoffs too. That's actually pretty good. I really needed this card draw. I only need really one duplicate for combo, or I don't know. I don't even need a combo zoo, actually. If 
I can get this board clear with the time walk, like where he can't do anything, then I can take over the board. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I can't echo, huh? With the uh, Sorcerer Apprentice. How many implosions have been played? What are my secret science block bear? I'm gonna play everything here. This is not a matchup where you go for combo, like the one OTK. This is like a just clear the board, get tempo, and play your minions. He if he has implosion, which is his only real, he's already has one implosion. Otherwise, he's just playing minions. I can just snowball this board to victory. That's why I have two echoes. You only need one echo for combo, but I realize that the second echo helps a lot fighting against aggro decks because you can just fight them with minions and echo. Ouch. Oh, another one. Uh, this is a little complicated. I Let's see, if I play Echo first, I can play one Sorcerer Apprentice. Let's not make it too complicated. I'm wondering if that even makes any sense. Oh, I have OTK next turn. <laughs> I OTK from board control. Oh no, I don't have OTK. No, I don't have the Emperor. It still costs too much mana. If I have 11 mana here, I have OTK. If I could just play out the Archmage, Sorcerer Apprentice, Sorcerer Apprentice. What's the best thing to do here? I have to do a ping, I just realized. I had infinite this turn with that Emperor draw if he doesn't kill any of the Sorcerer Apprentices. Because I can play Archmage and Sorcerer, and then I have four Sorcerer, and then uh, Echo. I don't even need Echo, anything, I just Echo for the Fireball. Oh, this is my favorite matchup. This is my specialty. I know how to play this matchup. You basically go for Duplicate and Emperor, and you don't even keep Duplicate, you just try to get it from Sorcerer from Mad Scientist. I don't know if it's. I'll see how good the matchup is. I'm not sure if it's perfect still. It relies on having an early Emperor. I think it's really against Patron. Against Control, it's alright. Because Control is more big minions like Rag and Dr. Boom. Like just 5-5s five to 10-10s. Ten that like Those kind of minions. It's hard to kill them all. They eventually will kill you, so you need to go quite fast. Oh! The dream! At this point, it's just about drawing Sorcerer Apprentice and Archmages. Okay, actually, I need a control hand against this. It's nice to suicide my guy. I need to thin out my deck. I don't want to draw secrets, so it's nice to suicide my guy that turn. Next turn, have a less chance to draw a secret. It's a very small thing, but with this deck, it's. That's like almost all that matters in some matchups, like how you want to line up your draws. It's still nice. So this is, if I don't... Okay, that's good. I have to play Duplicate here. It means that I have to play Emperor as my first minion. There's no way I can play Acolyte Ping next turn. But if I play Acolyte Ping next turn, I can't play Duplicate on turn 6 and Emperor anyway. So I'm just going to pass next turn. Unless I top deck AI or Ice Barrier.
I have a lot of healing and double flame strike to control patrons. What now? The fight count me in. Oh, it's actually gonna patron this turn. That's only two patrons, isn't it? I don't think that looks that amazing. Everyone, it's okay. Everyone, in here. It's pretty scary actually, but... I don't have Flame Strike yet, or Blizzard. Um, Sheep doesn't really clear this very well. Well, clear two and then two will duplicate into four, it doesn't do anything. Sheep with Echo, Echo Sheep. I don't think it works either, Echo Sheep. Just because it doesn't, it's not together. Even if you get two Sheeps. Savior flame strike troll. I so many of my combo cards, all I need is Archmage. I have second echo, it's like I have a lot of Emperors for my next echo if I need to do that. So it's possible for me to echo the antique heal bot if I if I need to survive. I I have to see what happens this turn because trying to survive as long as possible. The Lost Hamster, thanks for resubbing. Welcome to the Strife Crew. Crowfist. Okay, I'm gonna not take the risk of dying. Wow, he actually blew his charge just to try to kill me faster. I'm effectively at 22 life here with the block down as well, but it really sucks to lose the block. It's more about healing, right? So now I have to weigh the options of uh, the time it takes for me to draw the second echo if I echo here, weighted towards the time it takes me, the extra health I'll gain from echoing my uh, my heal bot here. That's like the weighted options. I guess the echo isn't that great. It'll heal me for eight more, but it takes me so long to draw the second echo compared to only having to draw the second archma the archmage. And it allows me to, like it heals me for 8, but I get to remove the Gnomish anyways. So technically it's only healing me for 6 in the long run, because I get to remove one extra minion. I don't care about his life, obviously I'm going to kill him from infinite if I do win this game. Like Armor Smith is completely useless against this deck. What now? Okay, so I have OTK as long as I get 1 and Brack. I need to save this Emperor for Archmage, because... I need to get a six man Archmage, then that that'll be OTK. My blade be thirsty. My blade be thirsty. Might have to use this echo for the sheep if I don't die here. I was like thinking of just dropping this Doomsayer, honestly. Just tank damage this turn. I think I don't lose my block, which is good. But I don't know how many turns. Okay, so I top deck Archmage. Ah, uh, okay. I could just go for Emperor here and kill next turn. How important is it to save my block? Okay, Sheep Echo. Sh sheep Ping. I have four mana left over to play Doomsayer. And Interesting. Barrier. Oh, I might as well put a Sorcerer Apprentice and I just wrote- No, 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 I need the zero mana Sorcerer Apprentices.
it's okay maybe like to play source apprentices oh the, that's no point i just realized no that was dumb yeah it's better to not play them because the source apprentice dies anyways to the sheep so and then i just replaced them with worse source apprentices i might be able to just win this game through control it looks like i can survive all all the way till i draw the second echo Oh, nice. If I can get this here. Just in case he has a second execute. He needs a draw. I'll win the late game for sure. I only need to survive till I draw the second echo and Archmage. Although technically I used one echo. What's that? <laughs> yeah, attack. Um, maybe he doesn't want to proc barrier, but I don't see what the point of that is. As a warrior. Oh, because I can play. I don't know. Okay, I get the echo. So. Now I'll use Archmage. I've never played a game this bloody. Usually I have like 10 cards. He has a lot. It's just he went all in on turn 5 with patrons, so I had to all in reactively to defend. Even if it is last card in my deck, it's not like I'll lose this game. It's likely after getting his double acolyte. He's used both frothings, one patron. It's like, it's likely that I can survive. <laughs> he can't even deal with this, I guess. If he killed that, I have Duplicate too, so I could just storm with Emperors. I need to save one Emperor for Archmage at that point. Because Archmage at 6, I think my Echo that I draw was, would already be at 0 with two Sorcerer Apprentices, so yeah. So this is a matchup where I'm not sure like how it is compared to normal Freeze Mage. Because there's a lot of advantages playing this, like you're, you have much more removal. But then you don't win as fast. I could see it being better to have an Alex Draza in this deck just because of how, like, it's not going to help your OTK. It heals you, though. It helps in some matchups who are not trying to OTK. It's way too greedy, Kornak. Like, there's, like, Weapons still, like a f Firework Axe, not far the other one, Eagle Horn Bow, so I can save my coin. I'm not really like too picky on what I duplicate, in some matchups I am. This is not one I'm very picky about what I duplicate here. Put this apple on your head. Okay. Midrange Hunter. Still would rather not duplicate Acolyte, and it only draws one card anyways here with the juggler down, so... Frosso turn 5, turn 6, flame strike. This gives me a better chance of winning. Like, Frost here is doing a lot of damage, but ultimately there's going to be even more damage next turn that is saved from Frost Nova compared to Barrier. Barrier is always a flat 8. I'm assuming if he drops any minion, that Frost Nova is going to be even better next turn. And even if he doesn't drop any minions, it's the same. Sometimes you're really desperate when you try to go over top decks like Frost Nova here and Frost Nova again, but I'm not that desperate yet. I don't like coin barrier because if my guy dies I can't flame strike. I'm not too worried about duplicating the exact target card here either. Although it's not even bad to duplicate Source Apprentice, it's one that you can afford to duplicate even if you're going for OTK.
do have fun strike number two. <clears throat> Doesn't really work against mid range trainers, uh, big drops like Dr. Boom and Savannah Hymane. I need to play Source Apprentice just to get stuff going here. Not too worried about OTK, like I could win just by out surviving him, especially with like Emperor and e Echo. Then later on I can like Echo heal bots for example, or, or even duplicate heal bots. Uh, one Archmage will win me in the game in the long run too, just by punching him in the face or something. Even one Emperor is going to win me in the game in the long run just by punching him in the face or five every turn, and if I can control the board. Oh wow. Nice. <laughs> I don't lose that block. Or I don't die. Oh, he's making it so that... He's not gonna attack. Oh! Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweetness. I have a bear down, so I'm not really le scared of leading up the juggler. What I am scared is like he kills my heal bot and then I can't echo it. So I'm playing Dupke here. That way he has no choice but to either kill it or let me echo it. Wow, web swimmer, it's scary. Actually, I was just a little bit farther ahead in tempo, or he didn't kill command me here. He's not attacking. Interesting. I think I should be able to win by perma freeze plus minion damage at this point. Although I still have Echo and Archmage. It's not like I, I'll lose, like I don't, I don't have enough damage. <laughs> Epic board. It's actually nice for me not to have spell power because I can freeze high mains for two turns of blizzards and they're still at 6-1. I don't want to actually proc them. He missed the hero power. No more unleash to worry about, so uh... Let the pain speak to me. I'll just go face here. I have barrier down, so it's not like these one ones are threatening me. Actually, pretty scary. Oh, never mind. I can get out my ice block if I want. I guess it doesn't matter. Either way, he wouldn't have won with the boom bots because I could get out my spot from uh, from a mad scientist. Even if it got me low enough where my barrier doesn't prop.
These are the fun matchups because you have a chance of ATK. I'm gonna get rid of Archmage, I think. Because, like, normally in Freeze Mage, you don't get rid of Emperor Archmage here. But in reality, with this OTK attack, it changes the dynamic. Because you can't OTK until you get the Echo and both Sorcerer Apprentices anyway. So it's usually not your Archmage that's, like, that's going to be the, what you need. I think you want to get more draw and control early. Emperor's the only one I think, like, 100% is, like, the, the best. I don't know. Because you can duplicate Emperor. And so that's, like, your mid-game. This is actually like an aggro warrior. I guess I'll have to play a control game. It's not like against Palin where you value Divine Shield more. Against Warrior, since they don't have like Blessing of Might and stuff, I, th I think you always kill like the other minion and not and not the Divine Shield. Like, you just want to lower the damage more so than getting rid of Divine Shield. Sometimes against Paladin you might want to get rid of Divine Shield more. Use my coin here. Play this for tempo. I have a lot of healing in this deck. Barriers and heal bots might be able to win me this game in this matchup. I could Sorcerer print this Echo for three. It means I don't get the Ping of Lepernome. Interesting. But it means I develop more tempo. Not really. Okay, let's just do this. It's actually possible for me to leave that up. No, but then he can just try himself. It's not like I have a duplicate down. I play a little greedy by not playing Ice Barrier this turn, but I thought that I wouldn't die this turn, then I can play Ice Barrier and then have the uh, have the heal bot. If I played if I didn't echo there, then I would never get this like I have these two echoes, they don't transfer into heal bots, so then I only have this eight source of healing, which is definitely not good.